Hello, uh, welcome to the shack. It's a little bit like a uh, uh, Antarctic ice station in here today. It's uh, part of the uh, garage that I've got a few bits of radio in here. Uh, I've got my some of my outdoor gear and uh, just different types of uh, antennas and, and all sorts of bits of projects that I try and tinker and break and work on uh, whenever I get a chance but just wanted to um, spend a couple of minutes just explaining a little bit around the amateur satellite work that I've been doing which has pretty much meant that past couple of months I've not been uh, outdoors as much just wanted to show you around the, the setup and then um, at some point I'll, I'll talk more about trying to get the amateur ground station amateur satellite ground station um, backpack portable uh, because uh, I'm quite interested in this idea of um, a remote portable um, satellite tracking and decoding station so uh, in a couple of minutes I'll just flip the camera around and uh, I'll show you some of the uh, stuff that I've been using uh, and setting up so uh, stick with me Okay, so um, inside the shack, I'm just running a, a normal uh, desktop computer, uh, and on here, um, this is my uh, M6LZT ground station. It's part of the SATNOGS, um, which stands for, well, what does it stand for now? Uh, some sort of satellite network um, observation ground station. So it's a network of uh, ground stations that are all connected together. Uh, where you can schedule observations of uh, satellites as a pass over. Um, so basically, um, these are a number of uh, satellites that uh, are due to pass over in the next few hours. Um, and I can basically, by uh, um, scheduling one of these, so if I go for, I want one with a good, good um, a pretty decent. Uh, uh, that was uh, so. Th this one here, which is the uh, the Polytan uh, Dash One. Um, if I go to schedule that one, it would help if I get my glasses on. Actually, uh, internet is absolutely awful in here, so it does take a few seconds. But the the beauty about this set this setup is, uh, I can do this from my phone. From a computer anywhere around uh, the planet. In fact, anybody that uh, is actually a member of the SatNogs um, uh, system can schedule observations in anybody's uh, ground station. Uh, so not only can you do your own, but you can also um, you can program, you can schedule observations from anywhere around the planet. Uh, so uh, if I just do a calculation. Uh, hopefully, yeah, I've got a good um, long pass over uh, my current uh, location. So if I schedule that. So now what happens is this schedule is now sent. Um, uh, I've got a Raspberry Pi here. I'll gently pick it up. I'll just bring that into shot a little bit. So basically the Raspberry Pi is internet connected. Uh, and every now and again the Raspberry Pi will poll the data uh, base that sits behind this looking for new jobs. When the new job is picked up then it just uh, sits on the Raspberry Pi and it queues all the jobs up and then when that time comes it, what it does it um, the, the Raspberry Pi which has got a RTL SDR receiver built in, uh, plugged into it uh, will start to track that satellite. Um, I've also got mine connected up to a a Yesu rotator so the rotator is also run from the Raspberry Pi so the rotator will track the satellite as it passes over and then once it actually um, has recorded the observation it will send the uh, an audio recording uh, it will also send a, a waterfall um, uh, image I think it's a PNG image and if it also has a chance to decode that satellite because certain satellites on, on through the system, through the Raspberry Pi, will be decoded. So the data will also be uploaded to the uh, central database. So if I go to some of my past recordings, 
um, uh, there's been a few that have been coming through um, over the past couple of days so if I go let's just try and find one that uh, has also got some data uh, there we go let's go and look at that one this is uh, the bug sat okay so um, on this bug sat we've got uh, a decent um, signal um, that was recorded um, and then uh, we also have um, on this occasion uh, about three or four um, three decent uh, decodes of the data um, and this one was actually um, scheduled by uh, Demetrius um, so thank you Demetrius um, he scheduled this one through my station uh, and it tracked it, recorded it and uploaded it to the database so this is what I've been working on for the past couple of months is building a um, Raspberry Pi based uh, amateur satellite tracking station that is connected to a network around the world where anybody is part of that network can schedule observations so if you need to look it up it's satnogs s-a-t-n-o-g-s satnogs.org uh, and if you've uh, if you want to get stuck in uh, there's plenty of uh, help on the the community or the wiki page uh, and uh, you can always give me a shout as well i can help you out so that's it for now uh, ta-ta bye bye